There's a difference between forgiveness and reconciliation. Forgiveness really has nothing to do with them. That's between you and God. But for reconciliation, that takes you, God, and them. Meaning they have to do something in order for there to be reconciliation. They don't have to do something for my forgiveness. So say someone's hurting you purposely. So you go to God and say, I forgive them. But you don't go back into the place. I forgive you. I got to put a healthy boundary here. Because reconciliation is when both people make concession. So what do you do when one person is unwilling to move? You can forgive, but you got to keep a healthy boundary until they make a concession. Let's go by it. Jesus died for the sins of the world. And through his sacrifice, we have access to forgiveness. And he did that for us to have forgiveness. He forgave us. But the Bible says that... So when God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, meaning God did his part in dying for us, so he made the path to reconciliation possible. But he can't make your decision to reconcile to him. He already forgave you. It's already done. But you have a responsibility in making a concession. There's forgiveness, but there can't be reconciliation until you move. We are commanded to forgive, but that doesn't mean subjecting yourself to abuse. 